Today we're gonna create some candy hearts in Adobe Illustrator inspired by these conversation hearts that are very popular around Valentine's Day. My students have been asking me to teach them about the 3D options and tools available in Adobe Illustrator and I thought this was a perfect way to celebrate Valentine's Day and go over some of the basic functions of those tools. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so here we are in Adobe Illustrator and I have a reference image of the candy hearts that I want to draw and some of them I can see better than others. I'm going to choose the ones that are sort of flat facing towards me, maybe some that are a little tilted away to get some different angles, but we don't need to worry about the areas where we can see the sides of the candies because our 3D tools are going to create that dimension for us. So what I need to do is grab the pen tool, make sure that I have a color that I'm tracing with. I'm just going to do like bright red so I can see what I'm doing. Make sure that my pen tool is going to be drawing in the stroke mode and not fill just so I can see what I'm doing better. And then zoom in and find a candy that's at a good angle that I can trace. I think this one looks pretty good. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just use my pen tool the best that I can, not really worrying too much about making it perfect because I can do a lot of adjustments as I go. I like to just find the next angle, click, and then drag towards the shape. When I'm working with this, I'm gonna try to find the center here so that you know it kind of lines up. So this is what I mean. I can go back in with my white arrow. I'm gonna make this more whoops more of a curve and not a point and just play around with some of these angles making sure that it looks pretty good the other thing i found is i can play around with these angles even when the shape is extruded so we're not going to worry too too much i'm going to go ahead and fill that in sometimes that helps me get a sense of anything I need to change. So I think I take this in a little bit, just slightly, so it's a little more symmetrical. I'm happy with that. So I'm gonna keep going with tracing a few more shapes, maybe finding a few at different angles, this one, maybe that one, and then we will get into the 3D tools. So here we are with the base of our candies and what I'm going to do now is start to play around with their shape in the 3D tools. So we'll go up to window, open 3D and materials. You can also find it with this little icon here. So if you don't go to window, you can also just click here if you see this little 3D cube, but you can always find it on window. You have to select the shape before you can use one of these different features. So we're going to start off an object and we're going to work with extrude. I like to zoom in again so I can see what I'm doing here. Go to extrude and you can see that it starts to give it some thickness. Now these candies are pretty thick so I'm gonna choose something right around there and you can always adjust this and then the candies do have a rounded edge they're not just a sharp edge i mean it depends on the brand but the sweetheart candies that i'm basing this off of do have a rounded edge and so i'm going to go over here to bevel and turn on the bevel now it's made it almost like a jewel kind of cut and i don't want that so i'm going to go over to round that looks a little better and then you can play with the width of this it can be more bubbly or more flat, just slightly round. So I wanna be somewhere in the middle. That looks pretty good to me. You can also play with, you know, the height of it. I don't wanna play with that too much because it looked pretty good. While you're changing the shape, it does get a little pixelated. Don't worry about that. It's just kind of rendering. So that looks pretty good. Now let's go over to this rotation area there are some isometric angles which is pretty cool to see so it's pretty neat that you can shape this in different ways you can also use this tool to kind of do a custom rotation and then what i have to do is give it some texture because the candies are not completely smooth like this so i'm going to go to materials and there's so many different materials you can choose here what i have found is that the handmade paper material is the closest to the texture of the candy 
I'm going to go ahead and choose handmade rice paper. Now it doesn't look like the candy at the moment, but that's because it's got some different properties we can change. Where it says repeat, if I turn that up, the grains repeat at a higher frequency so it gets more smooth. You don't have these like long grains of paper fiber. I'm going to turn that up just a little bit because they are quite rough, these candies. So just play with these. That's how you really get to know these settings and what they do is just by moving them around and seeing what they do. So do you guys see how there's these colors here? These are the colors of the different, you know, little elements in this. So what we want to do is choose colors that go with our candies. So I'm going to go ahead and click here and I want this first candy to be pink. Copy this new color and this will just help us base the next colors kind of similarly. Then we'll go to this one. I'm noticing this is a slightly darker color in the design. So I'm going to paste my pink color and then I'm going to double click it and go just slightly darker just so that it can give it some of that texture. Let's see if that helps. And then the last one, I'll do the same thing, give it that color. And I think that looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and do the same thing to the other ones. So let's work through these ones and I'll see you in the next part. So now let's get the text figured out. I'm going to make a text box. Make sure type tool is open so you can go to window, type, character. I'm going to choose Arial Rounded. And I'm going to do paragraph and center it. And then from here, I'm going to go ahead and create outlines. So right click, create outlines. Now it's vectorized. So I haven't worked out a perfect solution for this writing to make it look like it's actually kind of stamped into the candies. So here is the text and I've been going back into 3D playing with plane just to make some slight adjustments to make it look like it's actually at the angle of the candy. And then I've been going back to materials and choosing the same handmade rice paper just so that it doesn't look like it's stuck on there. So it does give it some texture. And then I've been going up to Effect and Stylize and Inner Glow. It's pretty subtle and it's not perfect, but it definitely looks better than just having plain red on there. So I'm going to go through and do this with the other candies. So let's go ahead and keep going. I'll do the other letters and other messages. Alright, so as a finishing touch, I'm just going to put a gradient behind this. And so I'm going to create a new layer, draw a square, and then do gradient. I'm going to go ahead and open my gradient window. There we go. Then this last one, this is a freeform gradient. And then I'm just going to start playing with some handy colors. Looks pretty good. So play around with this, have fun, and we'll see you in the next tutorial.